everybody stay, and they're playing with their gas, the nine and a three mainly. The gap for the two car right there. Yep. That's Joey Logano's uh, Logano spot. Gap on the four. He's Big four gap. TJ Majors. Everybody stay in here, though. Big gap behind the four. Brad's got him stacked up big. 20% yes, of all Daytona, Daytona 500s have ended with a last lap change of the lead. That's not going to change tonight. <laughs> there he goes. Big run yeah. right here. Joey's going to move down, block that. Right to his teammate's bumper. Watch what happens now behind all these guys. Now that's going to shake everything up. Here comes Austin Dillon to the outside. Oh, man, Kevin Harvick in trouble, gets shuffled out. White flag. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Okay, now these guys, their job, if you're Austin Dillon, one of those Watch guys. Watch this oh, run Kevin turn. Harvick has on the bottom. Another five can go to the outside. They're all trying to build that run that Keselowski did. Here goes the three car. Will Dillon have help? No, they come down to block. Logano goes back up. Keselowski with him. McDowell in tow. Dillon on the bottom. It runs on top. Oh! Teammates. Around they go in a hard crash. Kyle Busch. Kyle uh, Larson. Caution is Bubba. out. Bubba Wallace is in this. Austin Sendrick, hard hit by Kyle Busch. Caution's out. McDowell is first to the line, but will have to go back to the moment of caution, which ends the race. Brad Keselowski is climbing out. He's okay. Joey Logano, we see taking off the gloves and the steering wheel. I think McDowell's the winner of this race, well, guys. He was first across the line. NASCAR will review and have to determine the finish at the moment of caution. And we'll wait for official word. Huge win if that's the case. But Bob Jenkins' front row motorsports crew is celebrating on pit road. Oh, wouldn't that be incredible? You're going to see some emotion out of this oh, guy if this yeah. comes back official. A lot of tore up race cars. All the Chevys torn up. You saw Priest with damage. Chase Elliott with damage. This was a, a really hard hit. Kyle Busch when he came in. Yes. And the AMR safety crew very quickly on the scene being directed. Look at the damage to the wall. It's a bumper cover up there. And there's Kyle Busch climbing out. That is a great sign, and that means everybody has climbed from their cars after a huge pileup on the final lap of the Daytona 500. NASCAR is still reviewing video footage because when they hit the caution light, that time stamps all video to determine the order of finish at the run. moment of caution. Huge run, went for it. Joey was obviously had to block. The question is, where did that caution come out? Chase Elliott pulls ahead of Michael McDowell. Oh, look at the run he got right there, though. Dow the run on the outside with a little help caution. from Hamlin. All right, we know the caution was out there. We saw some caution lights where Michael McDowell and the three of Austin Dillon pulled ahead of Chase Elliott. And Michael McDowell from Glendale, Arizona for Bob Jenkins Front Row Motorsports has won the Daytona 500. How about that? Man. That's a huge win for Michael McDowell and that team. Doesn't get any bigger than this. And a huge crash for everybody else. <laughs> McDowell is the 40th driver to win the Great American Race. And the eighth driver in history to score his first career cup win in the Daytona 500. <laughs> and yes, Clint, he led only the last lap. It's all only, it takes. One, it's only one you need to win. Awesome job. Man. So happy for him, his family, that team. That's pretty cool. Has a road racing background, worked his way up to the Cup Series. Has had a variety of different teammates. Yeah, you know, I said it. We were talking about it when they arrived. Yeah, you're giving the props. Every time you look over and you always saw Michael. Burn it down, baby. Yeah. 
But it, isn't it something? There's just something about these super speedways where certain guys just have a certain knack for it and ability to pull that off. And you're right, Michael. Or, uh, Clint, Michael McDowell is one of those guys that, that does it often. A man of deep faith. He'll be joined in victory lane by uh, Drew Blickensturfer, his crew chief, who reminds me, uh, Larry reminds me of Drew's second 500 win, and his new spotter, Clayton Hughes, for 2021. Yeah, that was Mark Truex Jr.'s spotter for a long time. Well, let's repeat, all drivers involved in that horrendous crash in turn three have climbed from their cars and appear to be okay. Yeah, that's great news because when I saw Kyle Busch go in there, was such a, uh, I had a yeah, that's a fans cheer for that. Flying the American flag on the helmet. Chase Elliott second, Austin Dillon third. Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin trying to three-peat, completes the trot five unofficially. Ross Chastain is sixth. Ryan Priest, Jamie McMurray, eight, Corey LaJoy, Kyle Larson, your top ten. What a long time coming for Michael McDowell. Here's Jamie Little. I know. Fourteenth year racing in the Cup Series, Michael. Your first career win. You're a Daytona 500 champion. I just can't believe it. Just, just got to thank God. Uh, so many years just grinding it out and hoping for an opportunity like this. Got to thank Love's Travel Stop, uh, Speed Co., uh, Bob Jenkins for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I'm so thankful. Such a great uh, way to get a first victory. Daytona 500, are you kidding me? Hey. Oh, man. Just want to uh, say hi to my wife back home. Happy Valentine's Day. I know it's been a tough week. Uh, I just, my kids, I love you guys. I wish they could be here with me to celebrate. Maybe NASCAR will send the plane to bring them down here, but uh, we're the Daytona 500 champions. I cannot believe this. Thank you, Doug Yates, Ford. Uh, we had our Ford partners at the end and they all crashed. And uh, I just, luckily I was able to make it through. Just so thankful God is good. Michael McDowell has been there at the end of so many of these, Mike, and finally tonight it was his.